Okay, guys, just give me a minute to get out of here. Oh, it's pouring rain. You can't go to Orange Julep in the pouring rain. You gotta wait outside. I can't see the chat. I'm just looking at myself. All right, what's this here? Can I go? Where can I get food? I'm fucking hungry. Orange Julep is gonna be friggin' busy as hell. Anyway, so anyways. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so everything went very well. Um, I just saw a friend. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Um, so, it's a long story. But basically, we are gonna reconvene um, next week. It went very, very well, and I actually, uh, so next week we have plans to, yeah. But you know what, I don't think I should talk about my, my dates really much, um, because, <laughs> you know, just a lot of them don't know about each other. <laughs> oh, Boustin. I want to eat at Boustin. I want to eat Lebanese food. I'm hungry. This is going to be interesting getting out of Montreal, you people, on a fucking Friday. Oh, why did I come here? Actually, I'm glad I did because I met somebody. It's very nice. And I saw a nice friend. And, um... 200 meters, turn left onto Rue saint -Urbain. Sorry, guys. Just let me get the hell out of here. <laughs> let me get the hell out of here. I have my GPS on orange tulips. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I had a really nice time. But... Like, I don't really have, like, anywhere to stay here, and, um, so we're just gonna, like, reconvene, but I'm also going to, um, turn left onto Rue de Bleury. Turn left onto Rue de Bleury? Man, what am I gonna eat? I forget Italian Oh, no, I can't turn left. Why did you tell me to turn? Well, I need to pick my wedgie. <gasps> I have a fucking thong on. And now I'm stuck in traffic, and I want an Italian puts in, and I want an orange show, but I want a pogo. I came here for the pogos. I hate the city. I hate the city. I hate the city. You know, I can't even imagine living somewhere like New York with all this crappy traffic. I couldn't. I would go nuts. I would go nuts. Okay, what am I gonna eat? Let's think of orange julep. I'm gonna have, as long as there's not a lineup of the yin yang. What? Italian put in and two pogos, or should I just get two pogos, a large orange tulip, and an Italian put in? <laughs> I'm supposed to be on a fucking diet. Oh, sorry, pal. Sorry. There's three lanes here. So in 850 meters, I need to get in the other lane. I thought my car wasn't going to go anywhere at one point. Oh, this is the most stressful thing in the world. Being stuck in traffic? when you're hangry and gotta pee. No more traveling for me, I'm saying oh no. Um... What is this, a steakhouse? Vargas Steakhouse. I'm hungry. Why do I gotta wait? I'm hungry! So we'll get to Orange Julep when we get to Orange Julep? And fucking believable. It's ridiculous. I still have 500- so I just moved 100 meters. I still have 550 of those. Till I can fucking turn. I fucking hate my life right now. And then if there's a huge lineup at Orange Julep, I'm going to fucking McDonald's. I'm hangry. I'm tired of the traffic, in case you're wondering. I hate the traffic. Because I have to pee, and I wanted to be at Orange Julep by now! Because it wasn't far, but because of the fucking downtown construction. There's an egg delay of like a million fucking years. Like, I only have to 500, 500 meters to turn the corner. But no, it's taking an extra half an hour just to be able to turn the fucking corner. This is what my problem is. And I hate it. And I hate life because of that. I'm scaring the new people. Is there new people? I hate weekends. It's too people-y. I hate weekends. Too much fucking people. I'm never doing anything where there's people again. And I'm not going on hikes. And I'm not doing going to the beach. And I'm just hibernating forever. And I don't fucking care. If you don't like it, don't watch me. <laughs> Fuck. I'm tired of this shit. I just want to fucking put in. Go. Move it. So why did I come here? Well, 
I mean, I don't know. I wasn't hungry before. Now I am. Hell, never. Ooh, it's way too fucking packed. Where's the drive through? I'm getting McDonald's. I don't fucking care. I'm so. What are you doing? Is this a parking lot? You don't just hang out in a parking lot. Like, so many people just hang out here for no reason. Oh, the drive thru's closed, so you can't get any food anywhere in fucking Montreal! Hi, guys. The fucking drive thru is closed. I'm going in the fucking store then. I'm fucking tired of this shit. Come on. I fucking hate this place. I fucking hate Montreal. What can I get right now? I'm starving. Like, I'm legit hungry. Yeah, I haven't found any fucking food around here. Fuck. I'm going to find food. Wish me luck. Because you should see the line at Orange Julep. It's like out the asshole. It's like, it would be at least a two hour wait. I'm, there's never, ever, no fucking way in hell. It's Friday night in Montreal. I mean, what do I expect? Well, a lot more than this shit. I'm never moving here. I will be fucking the hit my life. I fucking hate people. It's like two hours. Fuck. I just want to get something to eat. Like, it's so fucking impossible to even do fuck all around here. So I'm gonna try to shawarm a place that's like... And then I can finally eat and talk to you guys? Like, I have stuff to talk about? Fuck. I can't even get to the fucking highway right now. I'm starving. Oh my god. I'm getting like five shawarmas. I'm fucking hungry. Use the left lane. And I have all my boyfriends messaging me at the same time, stressing me out. I'm not even kidding, they're stressing me out. Because, honestly, like, they don't know about each other. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. They all worried about my well-being in Montreal right now. 63 on the left for Auto Route 720S Are you okay? Montreal. Are you okay? I thought you were home by now. No, I'm trying to find food. Jesus. Is this another bottle? I swear, if this is another bottleneck, I will lose my shit and go the fuck home. I need to go home. I'm just hungry. There's like, this is a huge city with lots of restaurants. But you know what the problem is? There's no parking anywhere. Never any parking. There's about 800 civilians crossing the street at one time. <laughs> I can beat this shit. No, I'm kidding. This better be a good shawarma. Ugh, I'm starving. I'm like literally gonna cry fucking hate being hungry like this. I just want some food. Oh God. Tell you about some drama and I can't focus right now until I get some food in my stomach. Like my brain is not functioning, it's missing nutrients. I'm not even kidding. In 800 meters, take exit three toward Montreal, center bill. Oh, I'm going back into downtown Montreal. Why am I doing this? Just for fucking shawarma. I'm starving for shawarma. I'm like, I'm not going to Orange Julep. Do you know how fucking long the lineup was at Orange Juleps? You have to go at Orange Julep on like a Tuesday at like fucking 1 a.m. I swear. Take exit 3. You have- if you want to be happy in life, you need to do everything at the opposite times of every single human being on Continue the planet. For 800 meters. That's my trick. So the most less busiest times in life? Yeah, I don't have the big appeal about weekends. I guess most people work 9 to 5 Monday to Friday. Right? Cookie cutter fucking life. And then you get your weekends off. So this is why, this is why, this is why most people- and there's nothing wrong with that. I worked- a fucking office job for so long, but this is why people are so busy on weekends, because most people have both weekends off and work Monday to Friday. I get it. I get it. I'm just bitchy because I'm hungry. The minute I eat, I'll be fucking not bitchy. Watch. In four <laughs> I had one guy, like, my one friend, like, well, if you're hungry, why don't you cook? Um, because I don't want to. Turn right onto Boulevard Rene Levec West. Signs for Rue <laughs> City, Montreal. I'm gonna pee in the shawarma place, too. Watch they don't have a public restroom just because it's fucking such a big city that they don't want people pissing in their restroom. Oh my god. You ever feel like you're just going insane? Like just absolutely insane? Yeah, that's me right now. Holy fuck, you can't even go- this is the thing in Montreal and places like this. You can't even just drive somewhere and get a shawarma. No, it's a big fucking stressful ordeal. It's like a huge ordeal. And you're gonna hear about it to get there. I swear to fucking god, it's like a huge big deal. Just to go get a fucking shawarma. Like, what? Here it is, shawarma place. Yes. Yes. Your destination yes. is on the left. 
Oh no, the fucking line is at the door. La Belle Province is right next door. The fucking line is out the door. Yeah, it's a huge line, but I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm going anyway. Oh no, there's no parking. Why does everything suck here? I hate life. <laughs> okay, let's go get shawarma and go pee. Like, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna leave you guys here. Fuck it. I don't wanna get out. I don't wanna go. I fucking hate people. I hate business. I'm in a confrontational mood too, so nobody better look at me fucking sideways. I'm gonna kick their ass. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I forgot my wallet. I'm oh, I suppose I'm not gonna pay for my food. What a fucking moron I am. Uh, god damn it. Everyone can see my ass bending over, but I don't care. Oh my fucking vagina's hanging out of my dress. No. Run me over. I'm fucking starving. Hi, guys. Oh, yeah. Drunk people everywhere. It's Friday. Peel pub. Look at the line. I want to leave. No. Just tell them you're a vlogger. Yeah, and I'm gonna go pee after too. Pee, eat, and then I'll be able to drive. I'm starving. I hate waiting. <laughs> Throw the wig into the crowd? There is no McDonald's, Agatha, and the freaking thing is closed. I tried to go to McDonald's. I tried to go to Orange Tulip. The line was at the beginning. I tried to go to McDonald's. The drive through was closed. Now I'm trying to get shawarma, and there's about 30 people ahead of me. Just go get anything else. You can't even go to a corner store in Montreal without there being a thousand people waiting across the street. I fucking hate Montreal. <laughs> Uber eats to my car. I wish. Do you think you can? It's always late, Lolo. That's the problem. It's always, always lit. I want a shawarma. I'm starving. Look at. Um, I'm so sorry that my live streams have been so boring because most of it has been procedures. Basically, just waiting in lines, driving around, being pissed off, <laughs> angry. It's a Montreal frustrated rat face fucking piece of fat fucking rape face. So what's the gossip on YouTube? I haven't been on YouTube all day. What's going on? Who's been live? Who's been arrested? Who's been... I'm getting like a million things though because I had to wait, so... I'm getting like potatoes, grape leaves, shawarma... Oh, there's a woman eating a fatouche salad. Maybe that's what I should have. Salad. So feminine and dainty. Boring! I'm eating a 12-incher. Fuck it. Oh, the line is too huge. I'm gonna pass out. I'm so fucking hungry. I'm not in a good mood because I'm hungry and I have to wait 10 hours just to get something to fucking eat around here. Like, I'm seriously tempted to just go home. Like, oh yeah, I'm not fucking waiting. No, sorry. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. This <laughs> shit. I'm fucking out. I swear to God. I cannot fucking deal with this shit. Can I go pee in here? What about this place? Any better? <laughs> I don't think anywhere. I don't even know what the line is like here. <laughs> it's not as bad. <laughs> Somebody said I'm really pretty. Did you hear that? Oh. <sighs> Do you guys hate me? I want a fucking pogo. I'm getting 10 pogos. I'm gonna be double fisting pogo. I want a shawarma. Yeah, like I just want to go home, but I want to eat. Like it's so impossible to even get any food here. There's no McDonald's drive-through. I tried. 
Like the drive-thru was closed back at Orange Tulip, and now that I'm all the way downtown again, there's who knows where the nearest McDonald's is. <laughs> like, can you Uber East to your car? I'm not even fucking kidding. Get sushi at a gas station? No, and I can get a fountain drink here too. I'm so thirsty. I know, I can't even get any fucking food around here without waiting 10 hours. Somebody. <laughs> no. By the time I get over there, I'm gonna be like five pounds because I sweat so much. The line is not even that big, like, look at it. Maybe it is. I gave up my place in the shawarma line, so screw it there. I want a salad now. I wonder if they have salad here. <laughs> salad in a pogo. The line at the shawarma place is even worse. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> and then I'm leaving. Fuck it. I just. Fuck that. <laughs> you guys. You guys. I opened the door to go to the bathroom, and it's like 500 stairs down. Okay, everything I'm. Okay, I'm good. Okay. So sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay, bye. Let's get the fuck out of this city. You see the shawarma line? It's still big? Oh my god, it's still huge. I cannot believe I cannot get something to eat in like a reasonable time. <laughs> Go home so I can eat shawarma, assholes. <laughs> I'm going home. I'm tired. I'm tired and fucking hungry. <laughs> and bitchy! <laughs> <laughs> no food! No water! Hold on a minute. I'm calling corporate. Lawsuit on the way. I don't want to keep looking around for food and driving around Montreal. Like, I hate it. I hate driving around, like, in Montreal. Like, I don't like it. So let me get far away from Montreal as I can. And then we can stop in Valley Field, maybe, to get something. I'm not high all the time, cat hair. Uh, only at night. Like, I was normal all day. And I got home, and I, I'm dressed. I'm just wearing my dress slip right now, but I'm gonna... Oh, hot shower would feel so good to wash Montreal off me. No, no, I don't want to wash Montreal off me because... I'm thinking of so many different men in my brain, and I wanted to talk to you guys about... Actually, I said that. I said, I have to tell my bees there's... And hi, by the way... I don't have anyone blocked, I don't think. Okay, I'm gonna check, but let, let, let me just, uh... I have to be at my computer, so it'll have to be, like, next time, maybe. Because I'm not gonna be on here too, too long tonight, guys, because... I'm actually really, really freaking tired. Um... Hold on, I have a hair, sorry. So, um... Oh my god, so... No, I didn't... I went to McDonald's, but... It, well, I had six nuggets, but they were gross and blubbery. What the fuck? I hate McDonald's, man. It's the only, it was the only thing open. You saw me struggle to get food in Montreal. Oh, God. <laughs> so, I met up with... After I dropped that guy off. Which, okay, so this guy, this Moroccan guy, he's around 28. He's really sexy. Like, he's got bad boy energy a bit, though. He's got a bit of bad boy energy. So, but we made out. Oh, he's a great kisser. And he smelled good. And he's cute and sexy. And he wanted to go to a love cinema, like a porn cinema. I was like, oh, my anxiety is too bad for that. So then, oh, fuck. Anyway, I just explained that I just felt better if I just uh, went home. So then I dropped him off back at home, and then he... And then right after that, the guy, the other Moroccan English guy from Qatar. The one that I really, really, really like. Calls me on Messenger, because he just got back from the airport from Miami. And he was really, he was really, um... tired and exhausted, right, from the airports, but when I see this man's face, I, I pretty much melt, and I can feel the chemistry through the screen. 
rather spend in the room with you right now. Ooh, I wish. No, 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 bees triggers. I don't think I'm capable of talking about this man without the bee on be my voice. He's got this Moroccan, like, sexy Moroccan look, like, beautiful, like, you know what I mean? Like, sun-kissed skin and juicy lips and dark eyes. He's got a mystery about him, but then he's got this English accent, and he's so gorgeous. But he's going back soon, and I won't see him till like, October, probably. But now, I find myself thinking of the guy I made out with tonight. We're gonna call him. I don't know. Oh, and all while this is happening, I'm messaging. I, all while this is happening, I came up to see, I went up to Montreal. I went up to see Mr. Coffee. But Mr. Coffee, we had trouble finding a hotel member in like Ottawa and like, he, I guess something with his brother staying there right now. So he didn't, you know, didn't have much like privacy. So because his brothers and his kids are staying with him temporarily so he's always wanting to get the hotel and right now on the weekend there wasn't any availability for like you know like the hotel prices were insane like if you even check on booking for the weekends and there wasn't like any availability that we could find so um on like booking or price line or whatever so we go to he's gonna come but all of that and he's like messaging me the whole time like are you okay and at the same time, I really am fond of him. Like, I feel more, I feel more dear to him because he's uh, older and he's, he's more secure. Like he can get hotels, he has, you know, a good job, he has a fucking life. He's stable, he's got health issues that are follow being followed by a doctor. Like, <laughs> I think, I, I think, um, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? They all have something like, I don't know. And this guy's Moroccan. Mr. Coffee's Moroccan. There's so many Moroccan men. Holy shit. Like, for real. Well, that's good for me. I don't know. In the car today, the Moroccan guy's like, he said that it would be hard for me to date an, like an Arabic man um, just because of the, you know, the way, just the ideals are different i guess or something he's like so why are you attracted and i'm like i don't know maybe it's just because <laughs> i don't know if it's just because like they're arabic it's just something about i don't know it's just usually the men that i pick that i'm attracted to tend to be moroccan i don't know if what if it's something it, the physical features but i just notice that i get matched a lot with them <laughs> so it must be that i'm just attracted to something i don't know what it is I'm so cultured, I know. Hi, Karen. Is that a bad thing, cat hair? I don't know what, like, is that a bad thing? Well, that's you, cat hair. It wasn't for nothing. I had a nice time, except for, no, you know what? I'm never going on a weekend ever again. <laughs> that was traumatic. <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> I'm freezing. Mm, I want to curl up in bed and go to bed now. I don't know how I ever enjoyed their nugget. They seem so weird now. Does anyone find that they taste all spongy? I know I need to sleep. It's like almost 5 in the morning. It's like 4.57. My eyes are bloodshot. Like, I, yeah, I had a little piece of edible, but like, I'm like mostly... I'm so exhausted. I do love the drive. I don't mind the drive. I thought that there would be something open in like fucking Valley Field, but all the restaurants were closed, even though they said that Harvey's was like 24 hours. Like, oh, fuck. Harvey's onion rings and a burger would go down so good right now. I'll have to watch from the beginning. Thank you, Karen. Well, thank you. Yeah. I mean, I did enjoy myself. I met him. I picked him up. We just hung up my car. Because he wanted to go some places, but I didn't feel like it. I just wanted to, like, have a first, like, meeting in the car. And it was really fun making out. And then... That was it. I think I'm juggling too many people, honestly. Yeah, I'm going to bed now, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I mean, what time is it? Oh, you ever make you ever make out with a guy and then you can smell him after for a while? All right.
I wanna live in freedom. I wanna dance with my demons. I wanna drink for no reason. And celebrate every season. Yeah, yo, yeah, call my place the kingdom. Cause I got what you need. Don't forget to subscribe. And, and if you like what you no see, one. please buy my merch. Link in the description below. So